Welcome back. We are now a little less than two months until Election Day. Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown is on the air with his first campaign TV ad in his quest for a fifth term as mayor. Like political spots, there are some claims worth checking out. So our Steve Brown put the ad through our verify test. Byron Brown, while battling in two courts to get his name on the November mayoral ballot, has his first TV ad out, so we gave it the verify treatment. Our sources include the Mayor's Office of Communication, a 2012 report from the City Comptroller, our own Channel 2 archives, and the Erie County Board of Elections. In this ad, three things jumped out at us. The first. 22,000 have participated in our summer reading program. The Mayor's Office of Communication says that's true, but also provided important context. That's over 20 years, and the program began when he was a state senator, so we can verify that claim. Next, this line about guns. We've taken 15,000 guns off the streets. Street violence is on the rise in Buffalo, and there have been efforts to get guns, especially illegally owned guns, off the city streets. But 15,000 guns removed? Where does that number come from? We found a 2012 City Comptroller audit of a city-run gun buyback program. At that time, that program collected just short of 3,700 guns in six years. But we found this story in our archives, noting that the program was shut down in 2015. We reached out to the Buffalo Police Department and the Brown campaign to see if either could explain where that 15,000 gun reference came from. Without added information, we cannot verify that claim. Finally, there's this at the very end of the ad. Now see that Democrat for mayor? Byron Brown is a registered Democrat, but he's not the endorsed Democrat in the race. That's India Walton. She beat Brown in the Democratic primary and has that line on the ballot. We did check with the Erie County Board of Elections. We're told Brown is free to say he is a Democrat as long as he doesn't say he's the endorsed Democrat. So we can verify Brown is a Democrat, just not the Democrat in this election. Also, we checked in with the Walton campaign. A spokesman says they expect their first TV ad to hit the air in early October. When it does, it will get the verified treatment too. Steve Brown, Channel 2 News. And late Friday night, a City of Buffalo spokesperson provided us with some more details about the second claim in the ad about Brown, uh, Brown's administration taking 15,000 guns off the street. According to that new information from Deputy Police Commissioner Joseph Grimalia, the data was the year-by-year -year numbers on guns submitted to the property lab, which is literally guns taken off the street. If you combine that with the number from 2012, the City Comptroller's audit number of six years of the gun buyback program, that is more than 15,000 guns off the streets. So the data with that data, we can rate that claim as verified.